thick mats of algae on the bottom of our rivers and streams. The mats can be either white, tan, or brown in color. It looks a lot like snot, which is how it got its name, rock snot. It is traditionally found in areas in northern North America and in Europe. It's not a native species here. We call it an invasive. And it has been spreading. We, we are seeing it more and more in this region and here in the Yacht River. Dynamo can live for up to 40 days in damp conditions, so your waders or your paddling gear or clothes that you've used for swimming. So we're concentrating on trying to get people to properly disinfect their gear to help curb the spread of Dynamo in the watershed. On June 1st of 2012, Didymo was confirmed to be in the Ottomini River. From that point, we worked directly with the Fish and Boat Commission and DEP to start doing sampling to see what the extent of the invasion was. It was originally found at the Loop Takeout, just above the high bridge on the Great Allegheny Passage. Uh, well, while we were doing the sampling over the following two months, we found that it is in the entire extent of the middle Yakagini from Confluence down to Ohio Pile, and also in the lower Yakagini from Ohio Pile Falls all the way down to just below Burner Run Takeout. We've worked with Trout Unlimited to put out waiter wash stations in strategic locations so that people have the ability to wash their gear on site with salt water to kill the Didymo. It is spread by a single cell, so it is difficult to see the Didymo on your shoes. Um, so even if you don't see it, we are asking that you wash your gear. Didymo is a concern because it blankets the bottom of the river and uh, forces out the macroinvertebrates, so that creates a very difficult uh, fishing situation. So here we have Steeler Nation Stonefly yellow and gold, black and gold. They're very fast, these are predators. If he starts to be in a water that has not enough oxygen, I mean within minutes, he will start doing push-ups because he needs so much oxygen to flow across his whole body. Um, they're extremely sensitive to oxygen levels. These are rocky retreats that are constructed by caddisflies, um, net spinning caddisflies. So the caddisflies need a nice clean rock. You can see this dark rock is completely free of any algae. And that's what the caddisfly can glue its rocky retreat onto to make its net and then catch its food. There are five gear wash stations located throughout Ohio, Ohio Pile State Park. Those locations are the Ferncliff Takeout Area, the Mill Yawk Takeout Area, the Sewage Treatment Plant, Ramcat, and at the Meadow Run Trailhead. Hi, I'm Ben Deldon. I'm Josh Robinson. I'm Lauren Fockler. And I'm Dr. Cynthia Walter. We're here from St. Vincent College. If you know you're going to be moving from stream to stream, it's important you carry all necessary cleaning supplies with you so that you can sanitize your equipment before you move to the next stream. Cleaning up after yourself, after visiting various streams or going fishing, is really simple. You don't even have to take up that much space in your car or whatever you're using to transport yourself. So we just have these small things. We have our bucket. Um, with the lid to put our soap in. We have our soap and then we have our plastic bags to put stuff in once we've cleaned it. Just pass it to you. Mm -hmm. yep. You want to start with the soap? And we're going to yep. add some soap so we can disinfect everything really good. So, and then you can just use any kind of brush, um, even like a toilet brush, anything, to make sure you scrub everything off. Because you won't be able to see like individual cells. So you make sure everything's nice and disinfected. So 
besides your boots, all other equipment that contacts the stream or lake will have to be cleaned as well. Which is why it's important to have larger containers that you can put larger items like floats and nets in uh, to clean them thoroughly. Uh, besides your uh, equipment, any boats that you might use, rowboats or kayaks, will need to be inverted and scrubbed with um, soap and water and a brush as well. Once you finish cleaning, you can transport your clean materials to a basin that's reserved just for them so you avoid um, contaminants from the equipment that hasn't yet been washed. If you know you're not going to a different stream that day, you can always bring your stuff back home where you can wash it there. And our sink, we're going to wash it just like how we did before with some dish soap and water. Dynamo does not pose a health threat to humans, but humans are the primary way that Dynamo is spread. So we're hoping that through proper disinfection, we can stop the spread of Dynamo in the Yacht Watershed and beyond. If you'd like more information about disinfecting your gear, please visit our website. I'm Chrissy Kasserman, your Yacht Riverkeeper. Thanks for watching.